In this video we're going to look at a probability model called the geometric distribution. And by the end of this video you should have an understanding of uh, when this would be uh, applicable and also some of its properties. So as a starting example I want us to consider this situation. Suppose a cereal manufa manufacturer puts pictures of famous athletes on cards and boxes of cereal in the hope of increasing sales. The manufacturer announces that 20% of the boxes contain a picture of Tiger Woods, which should be capitalized, I just noticed, and the rest contain a picture of either David Beckham or Serena Williams. So the questions you'd probably be interested in asking here are things like, how long will it take for me to get a card that has Tiger Woods on it. And let's assume you're a big Tiger Woods fan. You're going to start opening boxes of cereal and you're going to uh, you're going to stop as soon as you get one that has Tiger Woods. And so the question is, what's the probability that's going to happen on the first box? What's the probability your first Tiger Woods card won't happen until you open 10 boxes? Anytime you're waiting for something to happen, um, and there are only two possible outcomes, meaning you're going to get Tiger Woods or you're not, that is uh, that situation is captured by what's called a geometric distribution. Um, now let's just talk about some assumptions that are made that are implicit in this type of problem. The first is that the pictures are distributed at random. Um, the second is that when you open a box, there's only two outcomes. So that's that's very important. I'm going to underline that there are only two outcomes. In this case, Tiger Woods or not. Each box you open has a 20% chance of being a Tiger Woods card. All right, so that's another assumption that's that's uh, implicit in this problem. And then the last assumption we need to make is that the trials are independent, meaning each box you open, whatever you get, has no effect on uh, what you're going to get when you open the next box. All right, now the reality is we all know there's a finite number of cereal boxes in the world, but um, for this model to work, and it, and it very often does work when you're dealing with lar large numbers of cereal boxes, for instance, um, you we are safe to assume that just because you got a Tiger Woods or a David Beckham in one box, that's not going to necessarily affect what you're going to get in the next box. We know literally it does because there's only so many cards in so many boxes, but for this model we can assume that it doesn't. Okay, so anytime you have these three uh, situation, uh, these three properties satisfied. In general, that's what's called a Bernoulli, a Bernoulli trial. Okay, so the geometric distribution is going to be one example of what's called the uh, uh, Bernoulli, uh, Bernoulli trial. Okay, so just keep that word in mind. So let's look at some examples. So let's let Y be the number of boxes you'll need to open before you get a Tiger Woods card. So what's the probability you find them on the first box? And I'm going to use notation as I write this. So what is that? Well, that's just that's the probability that you get them on the first box, and Y is the number of boxes you need to open before you get them. So that's just Y equals 1, the probability that Y equals 1. And, well, that's easy. Right, you you open up the first box and either you get them or you don't, and there's a twenty percent chance of getting them. What's the probability you don't find them until the second box? Well, notationally, that's the probability that it takes two boxes before we get them. And so think about what has to happen for that to to be the first box you get a Tiger Woods card in. Right, here's our two boxes. You don't get a card, and then you do. So you don't get a card, well there's an 80% chance of that happening. And then you do get a Tiger Woods card, there's a 20% chance of that happening. So we're going to say 0 0.80 times 0 0.20 which computes to 0 0.16. What's the probability you don't find them until the third box? Well, that would be the probability that y equals 3. And what has to happen for us to find our first Tiger Woods card on the third box? Well, we have to not get a Tiger Woods card on the first two boxes we open. And there's an 80% chance of that happening each box. 
and then we have to finally get it on the last one. And so this probability is going to be equal to 0 0.80 squared times 0 0.20 and 0.8 squared times 0.2 gives us 0.128. You can probably see the pattern, but let's just do one more. What's the probability before? Uh, what's the probability you don't find them until the seventh box? Well, that's the probability that our first Tiger Woods card is going to happen in the seventh box. And again, just for consistency, that has to happen by getting no Tiger Woods boxes. One, two, three, four, five, six on the first six. So no Tiger Woods, no Tiger Woods, no Tiger Woods. The first six have to not yield the Tiger Woods card and then the last one has to. So this would be 0 0.8, 0 0.8, 0 0.8, 0 0.8, 0 0.8, 0 0.8, 0 0.8, and then 0.2. So that means 0.8 to the sixth power times 0.2 and that ends up yielding a probability of 0.05 Two. So now we're ready to generalize. Um, what's the probability you don't find them until the nth box? Well, let's just think about what has to happen. That would be the probability that y equals n. And how would that happen? Well, the first n minus 1 boxes, these are n minus 1 boxes, all have to be no's, right? None of them can have a Tiger Woods card in them, because if it did, then uh, it wouldn't have taken n, n tries. So each one of these, each one of these trials would have a probability of 0.8 until the last one would give us our Tiger Woods card. All right, and so in general, the probability that y equals n would be you've got 0.8 n minus one times and a 0.2 once. All right, and so what you're looking at here is a geometric probability model. And what would change in this situation? Well, obviously the probabilities could change. This situation involves cards and uh, there's a 20% chance of getting a Tiger Woods card in each trial, each box in this case, but certainly that could change, right? We could be talking about coin flips, we could ta be talking about many other phenomena in which the probability of each trial is different. So to generalize, let's just talk about what a geometric probability distribution tells us, and then in the next video we'll actually look at more, uh, some more interesting examples and a couple of calculator functions you'll want to have a handle on. So in general, a geometric prob uh, distribution follows all of the rules of Bernoulli trials, which we mentioned, and the random variable is defined as x equals the number of trials until the first success occurs. Right? So the first success occurs. We were waiting for that. Uh, you know, success should often be in quotes because it's success doesn't necessarily mean it's the thing you want to happen. But obviously, you would have to define in the problem what you consider a quote success and in the other uh, the other outcome a quote failure. Um, but the, the the heart of the matter is that you're waiting until for something to happen, um, and the number of trials until the first success occurs is what we define as our as our x. And so in general, the uh, geometric probability model, um, each trial will have two outcomes, and p will represent the probability of quote success, and q the probability of failure. But since probabilities have to add up to one, each outcome would have p as a probability of success, and q or one minus p being a probability of failure. And notice in the Tiger Woods situation, P was 
0.20 and Q was 0.8 and they sum up to 1. If X is the number of trials till the first success occurs then the probability that X equals a particular value is always going to be well you're going to have Q failures until your final uh, your final outcome which is a success and so in general this describes that probability model and anytime you're given a probability uh, distribution it always comes with um, the the probability distributions expected value and standard deviation it would take um, a little bit more of a um, some mathematical computations to actually explain why these are true but for now we're just going to take them for granted alright so hopefully this was a good introduction to the geometric probability distribution and we'll look at uh, some more examples in the next video